All right, gotta get this out of the way. Uh, uh, Gear Best is having a 11-11 promotion sale for Thanksgiving. Uh, they were kind enough to send me the surpass motor for testing. So here's the uh, free advertising f advertisement for their sale. So make sure to check them out. Uh, you may find something that you're looking for for a discount. So uh, it's always good to save money. All right, now on to the motor test. Okay, so here we have the uh, Surpass motor, uh, MT2205-2300 kV. This was sent in by uh, GearBest for review. And it's a, it's a budget motor, uh, so it's meant for budget builds. However, um, uh, considering its price, the, the performance was actually pretty good. Uh, these go for about I think eight eight dollars and eighty two cents, uh, so nine dollars basically. So it's a nine dollar motor, but uh, it, it's actually it's actually uh, pretty pretty well made. I think uh, it, the it's it smooth. The bearings seem to be pretty pretty good. Uh, tolerances are quite good. The, there's really no play. In the motor when I was testing it, and you know when you feel it, but of course you know um, we need to we need to actually use it, and after long term use, then you you find out if if everything remains tight. But from from just feeling it, it it feels like a pretty pretty good budget motor. Uh, the finish is pretty good, and uh, the windings the windings are actually also quite quite good uh, they do use uh, multi-strand wires but uh, they're they're pretty neat and looks like the stator is using 0.2 millimeter uh, 0.2 millimeter laminations The magnets are not curved; they're uh, square magnets. Uh, it's typical for these uh, budget motors. Uh, shaft is three millimeter, and it, it does have a. There's a shaft uh, setting screw right there. Uh, as you can see, it's been balanced at the factory, and it's got these veins for moving air. You know, it's it's. Uh, it should it should uh, actually work you know to move air through the motor so that uh, Emacs is the one that started this uh, uh, that type of feature so uh, a lot of companies are are doing the same so that, that's that's good you know uh, cooling air always helps uh, it does come in. Uh, they do have the CW and CCW, uh, so you know you have to you have to uh, pick the right uh, the right uh, rotation for the motor. So uh, it looks like a silver nut is a reverse thread, and the black nut is normal thread as far as weight goes uh, it's uh, it's similar to to other motors uh, in this size so let's see it weighs in at uh, with this length of wire which is uh, it's 10, 10 centimeters wire uh, length uh, let's see. That's it's about 31, 31.2 grams without the nut. Thirty-one grams. So it's pretty pretty similar to other motors. Not the not the lightest, but uh, it's uh, acceptable for a budget build and. Uh, uh, you'll see the test results. Uh, it's actually performed uh, pretty, pretty good, pretty good for 
a nine dollar motor. Well, so here's the results uh, for the trust test. Uh, I went ahead and tested on f four inch props and a couple of five inch and six inch props. Uh, I just went ahead and tested the, what I think is uh, the most uh, popular props uh, these days. Uh, uh, the uh, Tri-Blade uh, 4040 by three uh the bull nose 4045 by 3 uh, this one will show you how uh, it's pretty much like the kv of the motor uh you know uh, as the motor doesn't get uh, loaded as much so we'll see the high rpms and how much uh, thrust it makes uh, the other one popular blade is the uh uh, propeller is the, the 50 40 by 3 so this one everybody's using this prop uh, these days uh, so actually the motor did pretty pretty well uh, for for being a budget motor uh, we're getting almost 1300 grams I mean 1200 and 1265 grams at reasonable amp draw uh, it's pretty much on par with uh, other motors uh, on the 5040 by 4 uh, we can see it's it's kind of hitting the torque wall you know uh, uh, four in four blade props uh, uh, the you start to get uh, more heat instead of getting thrust uh, as you can see it's pulling more amps and uh, the uh, the thrust is not uh, does not increase uh, proportionally with the amp uh, so let's see on the six inch props uh, the 6040 is one of the uh, the lower pitch uh, helps this motor so the it actually spins uh, with more rpm so we're seeing almost 1500 grams uh, the amp draw is quite a lot uh, on the thrust stand uh, you know that's that's how my thrust stand measures uh, it measures maximum amps uh, but when you're in the air, of course, uh, you'll be seeing anywhere from 25 to, I always say, you know, 25 to 35 uh, fewer amps. That's what I measured uh, just by strapping a power meter on one of the quads and just doing punch outs. Uh, I noticed it was, you know, around 30, 30% less fewer amps. I uh, should be running another test. Uh, with this newer motor see if that you know see if those figures uh, remain about the same so I just haven't had time to do anyway uh, these are the results for the motor uh, as you can see it's a pretty pretty good motor for the price uh, uh, it's actually a very good bargain uh, I think uh, the only thing of course that I can't uh, I can't uh, 
tell you is uh, how durable it is because I haven't really flown it or crashed it, crashed it or abused it. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, that needs uh, long term use. And uh, I've been testing so many motors, I just don't have enough time in a day to test, to actually flight test all the motors. I, I been I haven't been having that much time to fly actually uh, but overall uh, the motor does feel pretty well built uh, uh, pretty much on par with other good quality motors so hopefully hopefully this turns out to be a, a good uh, budget motor uh, for the price uh, you really can't beat it and hopefully it does turn out to be pretty durable Okay, thanks for watching, and as always, uh, check out my video, my channel. I'll be uploading more, more test videos coming soon. I got a whole bunch of motors to test. Thanks for watching.